Gold Squad TV. So the New Orleans Pelicans are looking to ship Alonzo Ball, Eric Bledsoe, and J.J. Redick before the deadline because they have the second worst record in the Western Conference. Um, despite Zion, Zion Williamson and um, and um, Brandon Ingram playing at all star levels, they're not winning games. All right, so David Griffin, man, David Griffin, you're a good, good, good GM. Bad move signing Stan Van Gundy as your head coach. I didn't like the idea. I did. I thought it was going backwards. I didn't like Gentry either, but you didn't hire Gentry. You hired. Your hands are all over the Stan Van Gundy hire. Bad move. And the both Van Gundys are old school coaches. They don't believe in playing rookies. They don't believe in um. They don't believe in going beyond the system to make another player make other players better. These guys are just big on their system. Stan Van is from a different generation. Um. He was an assistant to Pat Riley for so many years. It's like Jeff. But these guys have now officially hit I'm too old to coach in today's game standards. And um, I'm not saying Stan's a bad coach. I'm not saying Jeff is a bad coach. They weren't that great in their in their time. So they expect, yeah, you know, Stan got to a finals appearance, so did Jeff in a different era. You know, now... You're not going to get anywhere the way they're playing. Um, and honestly, I do think trading rounds of ball, Eric Bledsoe, and J.J. Raddick is a good move. Only because I feel like those guys are a little old. Except for Lonzo. Lonzo's not old, but Bledsoe and Reddick are a little long in the teeth. Reddick could help any team. I would love to see him in a Celtics uniform. But the other guys like Bledsoe and Ball, they're not old, old. You know, Ball's definitely young, and 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 Bledsoe's. You know, he's definitely getting up there, and he's about to hit thirty soon. Um, Bledsoe's pretty much at this point is maxed out. He had that one good year in Phoenix. You know, he's never really been the same. He has three years left on his deal. Um, if I'm if I'm New Orleans, I'm sending him. I'm sending him away. <laughs> Man, I don't know where where do you really trade him to, man? Because he's not a starting point guard in his league. He's a he's a decent backup. So where do you go? Do you trade him to the Rockets to be the backup for John Wall? You know what I mean? That would make sense. You know they both Kentucky guys. Um, JG, like I said, Reddick, I would love to see him in a Celtics uniform for cheap. I would love to see him in a Celtics uniform. Um, let's see what happens, man. But I will say this. I think this is Stan Van Gundy's one and only year as a Pelicans coach. I don't he might not even make it to the season. I think he's completely out of touch, and I just don't think he fits what they're trying to do. It's kind of like when John Beeline was the coach in Cavaliers. Like I kind of feel like Beeline was a good coach for his time and he was good for college. Um, I don't think that he was good for the pro league at that point in time, considering his age. I ran out the league. So, go Squad TV. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Does Stan Van Gundy last? And do these trades happen? Go Squad TV, peace.